YouTube. This is going to be our first sit down video for a while. This is uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One, as uh, most of you that follow my channel know, wait, hang on a second. I gotta, this looks like I got some schmutz on the on the lens. As a lot of you know, I went back to Ohio because my dad's real sick and uh, spent some time there. I posted a couple videos from there. Um, and the other reason is, I'm not gonna lie, I had uh, I got put on some different meds. I had I've had really bad migraines for years and I have a doctor that finally put two and two together. I've had a really bad head trauma when I was, oh, I was about 20. I'm 42 now and for the last 22 years or so I've had severe migraines and the doctor put two and two together and I've been having what aren't really migraines. They're um, what you call them, petite mal seizures that, uh, that have been misdiagnosed as migraines. And uh, one of the side effects of these meds is that I have a hard time finding the words that I want. And so my, my videos that are kind of discombobulated at times could be worse. And I've been kind of nervous about that and not, not wanting to really do that. As you can see, I got a good bit of sun while I was on the farm. I bleached my, my beard out even worse. Okay, so first things first, this video, I wanted to touch on something that I said I was going to touch on. I had a subscriber, uh, not even a subscriber, I don't think he's even a subscriber, just a viewer. Uh, his name is V Veteran, V Veteran, and I'm going to tag you in this, V Veteran, um, talking about uh, a topic, and, and I, I kind of talked about it, and we talked back and forth, and he was talking about, oh, edge grinds, I'm talk, tired of talking, people talking about it. such a minor issue, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. But then he kind of got abusive about the way he talked about it. He says, these fags talking about that this, as if their life depended on it. And these people, is like, okay, now here's my point. Most people will never have to use a knife in a fashion that he's describing where their life depends on it. The point I was making, and the video, I realized the video that he was commenting on was about the cold steel knives. And the knife I was talking about was this knife. This is a $30 knife. Now, yes, on a $30 knife, a misgrind is a minor issue. My point is, if you buy something, it should be right. That's their job. It's no different than if you go someplace and get your brakes done and they don't put the lug nuts back on properly. Or you go to a restaurant and they screw up your order. It's their job. I have since fixed this and I did put in a sharpening notch because I was complaining about it. I had a guy send me a knife and I actually did a sharpening notch for him. His sharpening notch was round. I just did a square on mine. I just took a square diamond file just so I could get because um, I decided I wanted to carry this and kind of test it. Um, I, I gave, gave it a little bit of work and I've noticed that, like I was saying with these Taiwanese knives, there's a lot of blade play in that now. So, now however, this $30 highlight cold steel tie light I would have been extremely upset if I had gotten this $400 $500 cold steel and it had a misgrind so you know you get what you pay for and I expect a manufacturer to do their job properly and give me a good product had I bought this $700 Baron Forge Knife Works Archbishop and it was misground I would have been fucking livid insane so that's my take on that, V Veteran. Now, here's the other thing. Do not ever go on my channel and go into comments and call me names or call any of my subscribers names. I am going to moderate my channel. And don't think that you can go on my channel and call people names and call me names and call my subscribers names because I will not tolerate that. That is unacceptable behavior on my channel. That is my take on that. So you may want to do that on other people's channels, not on mine. So, if from one veteran to another, if that's what the, the, your name stands for, respect my channel. Okay, that's, my, that's, that's just that. All right, this is a treat. You guys have heard me talk about Robert Bodiger and Bodiger Custom Knives. Robert and I kind of, I'm kicking stuff around on the ground down here. I kind of wound up there. I don't like people. I don't like people using my channel as a forum to say bad things about other people. I like to keep my channel nice. I want people to get to say bad things is on my channel. Me. <laughs> I get to curse and swear. Call people bad names. Not anybody else. Don't call any of my subscribers bad names. 
I won't even do that. Unless you really make me mad and then I'll call you out. Robert Bodiger Knives. The kid is the kid knows what he's doing. They are beautiful knives. He and I have kind of made a decision that except for certain knives and the ones that he made while I was gone, uh, he just did a zero grind flipper, did not need me to sharpen a zero grind. Um, but his fixed blade here, removable, hand done, contour G10 scales. Now you will notice this high dollar sheath with the, uh, the black electrical tape retaining mechanism. It's gorgeous. Um, he's having a hard time selling this for some reason. I can't figure out why. I did a uh, did a convex grind on it. It has a really, really unique um, finish on it. It's crazy, crazy sharp. Let's see. It. Go ahead and do that. Um, Robert and I have pretty much decided I'll sharpen his knives for him when he makes them. Um, just a little added touch when they go out the door. Um, a lot of knife makers will tell you that they don't care about it being super high polished. Robert wants to provide the best possible, best possible product when his knives leave. So I did this one up to about, I did this on an 8,000 grit in any wall. And then that 8,000 grit in any was actually comes out to about a 10 or a 12,000 grit. And then I, I hit it up on some, um, some really, really fine strops. I'm trying not to use any big words because my big words are failing me now. <laughs> There's meds that I'm on. I will tell you the word that I use to describe it. It's almost like having aphasia where I can see the word that I want. It's just I can't make it come out. So, um... Yeah, like I was saying, I did a convex on it, did it all by hand. Uh, so um, a, a nice heavy use of uh, fixed blade like this. Um, but Robert's having a hard time selling this. So he originally had this on his Instagram uh, for 400. He dropped, uh, did a price drop to 350. This knife is actually available. This knife is available. If you are interested in purchasing this knife, please feel free contact me uh you can text me as always uh my business card there's will be an image of my business card at the very end of the video um my phone number will be at the in the comments below um robert uh it, robert does amazing work he actually does leather work this knife does not have a sheath yet because the deal is and the way he advertised it the sheath will come it's going to be a kydex sheath and it's going to be based on nice finger choil. Oh, it's got that deep choil here so you can, and then when you choke up on it, oh, it's just perfect. If I had $350, this knife would be staying at my house. I'll tell you the truth. It's been here for two days. The only reason it hasn't went back to the shop is because my knee hurts. And I just don't want to let it go yet. I've been fondling it. Nice, nice finish. But anyway, Robert has said that the sheath will be made pending um, contact with whoever decides they want to buy it. Um, determined by uh, you know the needs of the person that's buying it, how they want to carry it, how they want to uh, to use it. I've decided I'm gonna quit getting haircuts. I want to see how long I let my hair grow before I throw a fit. I used to have long hair before I joined the military. I want to see. I'll grow my beard real long, grow my hair real long. Um, so yeah, really, really nice, comfortable. Life. It's the the stock is real thick. So is the handle but it's not uncomfortable. It's got a nice little thumb ramp. There's no jimping, but um, it doesn't need it. Uh, the G10 uh, is really, really well done and unpolished. So um, I was up at uh, Chris and Elliot's. I am going to do uh, their maker's choice on the Les George. And here is my announcement. I'm gonna go ahead and let them make their announcement too. They'll do it on, I'm sure they'll do it Elliot Williamson fashion. Chris and Elliot Williamson fashion. Uh, there's going to be a new option. I don't know how they're going to list it. Uh, we had talked about it once while we were drinking, but um, I quit drinking again. Um, to, treating depression with a depressant is probably a bad idea. But uh, 
they're going to have an option on their probably their next run of knives after this Les George uh, collaboration. Whereas you are allowed to pick an option, which is when you opt to buy one of their knives, um, you can choose to have me sharpen it or you can have them sharpen it. If you want them to sharpen it, it, it comes sharp. Or you can have me sharpen it and it's stupid, sticky. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're probably gonna have to have a Band-Aid in the box with it when it comes because you're gonna hurt yourself kind of sharp. Sounds like, sounds like it makes sense to me. So we were talking about, you know, what we thought the price would be. Um, it's not gonna be crazy expensive. Uh, we were fig figuring, you know, if they hit the initial angle on the 220 belt, kind of like uh, Robert did on this with this elaborate, elaborate silver sheath. Um, probably an extra, maybe 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. Um, the maker's choice, they're gonna get all 10 of the maker's choice done this time. Um, I probably get knocked out on a Saturday, maybe just, maybe take a weekend to them. Uh, depends, Elliot's, Elliot's 20 CV is so fucking hard. And depends on how he wants them. If he wants a convex, that takes a little bit longer than if I just do a straight angle. So just, uh, I gotta talk to him on it. I did a convex on this one and then used it. Um, and this AUS A8, to tell you the truth, the convex on this, had I been sharpening this for a customer, I'd probably charge them 10 bucks because it's nice and soft and it takes an edge readily. Um, but different steels. Customers, I want you to understand, uh, once again, to reiterate, uh, since I have new viewers, um, and I'll have a lot more subscribers. I got like 46 subscribers here in the last month or so. When I, when I quote prices, um, if I quote you a price and it seems high, there's a lot of times that price drops when I get the knife. I'm not going to rape you on price just to make a buck. Um, if the work's not there, I'm not gonna charge you. If, the, if it's more work than I think it is, there's a lot of times I eat that price. All right, um, another thing. If you guys want to leave me comments, let me know. If my videos are too long, let me know. If you find them, you know, boring. I don't want you guys like, cutting out. The, there's stuff that winds up at the end that I find entertaining that I, I want you guys to know about. So um, I wind up combining a lot of stuff in my videos. Uh, I'm going to try and maybe do shorter videos more often. But, uh, you know, with the fact that I'm still working and trying to do this and trying to like, go out and hit restaurants. I drove 81 miles. Um... Friday, trying to go around to butcher shops and restaurants and just basically hawk my services. I was so tired um, because we just got back the other day. So, all right, YouTube, here, this is the end of the video. I'll put up some stuff. Um, my business cards are on there. I have my the email, email, email address and phone number and everything on there. So, all right, like I said, Robert Botterger Customs, I will put his uh, Instagram handle on there and you can contact me if you are interested in this knife. All right, later, YouTube.